what is going on people welcome to your 50th Java tutorial and I know it's been a while since I uh, started making Java tutorials but hey we're gonna get back on track and uh, start learning some more Java so actually I had planned out that we we're gonna learn polymorphism but I think I'm just gonna skip right to GUIs because it's a lot funner and um, it's better if we know how to make an interface before we start getting into some uh, other stuff plus when we have an interface and stuff you can see what everything does and you're not just typing random code that you're like alright what is this the matrix because you know it's time we started building an application that the user can interact with and see so if you don't know what a GUI is or some people call it a GUI it's a graphical user interface and just like this right here it has a title bar at the top a menu drop downs uh, it has a whole different range of buttons and that's what we're going to be making instead of this right here where it's like the matrix style because I mean come on it's 2009 if you're watching this tutorial in 2009 that is so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing you need to know is that all GUIs are built from GUI or GUI components that means there has to be a component for a menu um, a dialog box um, scroll bars you have to add each one of those individually so how do you just go ahead and get these components well actually Java has a built-in um, class that stores all the components you need you just need to tell it where to put it and what to do with it and they are um, created using different methods in the methods you use to create this in the class is called the J option pain class now like I said um, this class is built into Java so anytime you want to make a button all you need to do is call it from the class and there are different ways to do this but this is the easiest way so in order to get all those buttons and toolbars and everything we first need to import the entire class so let's go ahead and before you're even class right here just go ahead and put import Java X dot swing dot J option pane and make sure you type the J in the O capital option pane and just like that and now we're getting a little error that says um, the import Java J option pane is never used so let's go ahead and fix that by using some stuff right now so now we imported the class which means we have access to all the crap in it so let's start using some of that crap the first thing we're going to want to do is set two variables by the way I'm going to build a program where you enter a number in one box and then click OK you enter a number in another click OK and the end box the third one um, shows your answer you're seeing a little bit so we need to set this equal to a string variable and set it equal to first number and I'm just going to write FN or uh, excuse me FN for first number now what you need to do is call the class which is J option pane use your period or dot separator in the method for an input dialog is show input if you couldn't tell by these hundred pop-up things that pop up dialog and it's gonna take one parameter right here and this is the message now what this is is the message or the prompt which you want to tell the user to do so we just want to put in a string enter first number so now whatever they enter into that first number is gonna be stored in the variable FN so now we need a second number so let's go ahead and copy this press enter paste it and let's just set string second number and we'll just put enter second number right there make sure I got my uh, whatever it's called semicolon and let's go ahead and move this over here because uh, just because I feel like it now here's a little thing that you need to know every time they enter something in here show input dialog method only is able to get a string so we can't add strings strings are pretty much letters and in, in numbers that it doesn't see as a number so we need to tell Java alright instead of viewing this as a string we want you to view it, in it as an integer so you can do some math with it later on so what we need to do is convert these variables to integers so this has nothing to do with um J option pane this is just Java right here so Java num or excuse me int num1 equals integer dot parse int 
And what this does is convert whatever I type into here and stores it as an integer in num1. So I want to put fn, and what this does is take the string, which say it's 5, and converts it into the number 5. So now let's go ahead and do this for num2. Num2, we want to take the second number we typed in and convert it to a variable called number 2. So now the last thing we need to do is just show the sum. So before we even do that, let's just add the sum. Int sum equals, um, what do we put? Num1 plus num2, no spaces. And now we got the final answer in the sum variable right here. Let's tighten that up a little bit. That's what she said. And now we can go ahead and display this. Now the box that you use to display is something called show message dialog. So let's put J option pane dot show message dialog. And this is a little different than show input dialog. Inputs for inputting, messages just for displaying. Now this method takes four parameters. The first one is um, it's a parameter where to position it. And if you put null, it positions it right in the middle of the screen. The second one is what you want to say, like for your prompt, but it isn't prompt, it's just a message. So let's put the answer is, and let's just put add sum. So it's going to be like the answer is five or something like that. Now the third um, parameter is what, what you want to appear on your title bar. So let's put like the title or something, something easy like that. And the fourth parameter you need is the message that's going to pop up. Now I'll go over this later if I got time, but for right now, just put J option. Uh, was it pain? Then put plain underscore message like that. And you don't need to put this last thing in quotation marks. So um, again. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and run this program. I'm tired of waiting around. So let's go ahead, click OK, run it. Enter your first number, 3. OK. Enter your second number, 5. OK. The answer is 8. And now I can talk you through this one more time. So now, once we go ahead and run this, what we're getting is this very first thing, the show input dialog. And it says, enter your first number. And we're going to go ahead and and enter 4 press OK now once we press OK it stores that 4 in FN variable right there and also it allows us to move on to this other show input dialog it doesn't move on until you complete the show input dialog so enter your second number 6 OK so now what it did right here is it took that 4 and converted it to a number and took that 6 and converted it to a number so that you can add the two sums right here and lastly, it took that show message dialog, which if I can get it back right here, and it says that null, which means position in the center of our screen, the answer is sum right here, and again, that third parameter was the title, which appeared on the title bar, and that last one, you have the option of putting icons on your um, GUI or user interface that we built but we're not going to put icons on here now mostly because they're stupid um, if you wanna have a, something like an error you can put an X on there a warning you put like a I don't know they're stupid but we'll probably put them in next time because I'm stupid too so um, but that's a real quick tutorial on how to use J option pane to uh, make a simple graphical user interface aka GUI so in the next tutorial, we're going to be building our GUIs and add them some more function, add some more cool buttons and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.